Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. We're here today filming Disability Awareness Course and one of the modules is Assistance Dogs. So what we thought we'd do is to make one of the editions of the First Aid Show of talking about Assistance Dogs and how they can help uh, disabled people. So we're here talking to Vivian and this is Elsa. So can you tell me a little bit about Elsa? She's six and a half year old, crossbreed, gold retriever and poodle. I started training her when she was two years old and I worked with the, with the Dog Aid charity who help you to train your own pet dog. I had a trainer who showed me all the correct way of training and she does what I need her to do. What does she do for you? Why, why did you think you needed an assistance dog? Because when I'm out in my wheelchair, I can't always pick things up that I've dropped, and I'm very good at dropping things. I can't get hold of things that are too far away from me. I use a grabber stick, but it's not always within my reach, and she can go and get it for me. She also gives me a lot of confidence. I can stroke her, and it helps me to feel a lot better when we're out and I'm on my own. It also gives me the sort of confidence to go into strange places, which I, over the years, had lost my confidence in doing. What do people think of her when she comes out? I know here she's this lovely dog licking me and that, but when you're out and about with her and she's working, what do other people think of her? They seem to be surprised at her breed doing the work she's doing and that she's such a big dog. They also see just a dog walking past next to me in my wheelchair. But when they stop and talk to her, and they, I always insist that they ask me first before they do that, then they find out she's quite a normal dog. She's nothing special, not to, to them. She hasn't got any special abilities other than what I have trained her to do for me. So unlike other with guide dogs and that, where they bring the dog into your home, she was your pet first. Yes. So yes. for how many years was that? That was for two years. And she still is my pet dog. Yeah. She's mine. She will always will be. She doesn't belong to anybody else. She's mine. Yeah. You have to take her out and about quite a lot, obviously out in the car and things. So, But she comes with you everywhere. You're not leaving her locked up in the car and anything oh, like that. Obviously oh, no. not. No, no. As a trained assistance dog, she's allowed to come everywhere with me. Restaurants, hotels, churches. She's, she's been in them all. She's, we've tried all sorts of circumstances. We've taken her into all sorts of large and small buildings. And she is by law allowed to do these things. And she enjoys it. She enjoys company. She enjoys meeting people. She loves children. So it's all, all in her favour. And it's all a great help for me. So the charity Dog Aid, what does the aid part stand for? Assistance in Disability. And how, tell me a little bit about the charity itself. Unlike other charities, we train our own pet dogs. So you get your pet, pet first, and if they approve it as a breed, as it, what its nature's like, then you get help with a trainer to train your own pet dog. And this is what's been happening with her. She's now six and a half years old. She's been helping me all this time. And she learns new things to do as I have more problems. So recently she's learned to put the footrest down on my chair because I just can't do it anymore. So that's a new thing she's just learned. And as I see things I need, I teach her to do them. So what sort of things can she do around the house? The obvious one that everybody asks me about is the washing machine. She loves to put her head in there and pull the things out and give them to me. Because of the way she's trained, she gets a click and a treat for all the things she does correct. And when I then, I then throw them into the tumble dryer and when she hears the buzzer go off, she comes and tells me and she goes and gets the items out I sit there and she hands them to me. It's as simple as that. Mm. She also does things around the house. If I want my walking stick, I tell her I want my stick. She goes and fetches it. There are some things I would never let her pick up, things like scissors and knives. So I have to have something to do that 
and not let her touch them. So she goes and gets me the grabber so that um, I can do the job. She can get the phone and she even has started now alerting slightly when our house phone rings. She knows that that bell means that I have got to get up so she's all ready to see if I need any help. She can help me undress my lower half. She takes my trousers off, my tights off. She's never yet laddered anything. She's very, very gentle. Mm -hmm. um, for all her size and awkwardness, she's a very gentle dog. She can also go and fetch my pyjamas from under the pillow so I don't have to go and get those. And one thing we have taught her, my husband and I, that I think is so important, that if I have an accident or I collapse or I have a blackout, I take my watch off my arm and I hand it to her and I just say, go find Ian. And she'll take in the watch. The watch means it's an emergency. And she tells him in her way, her, the only way she can, that he's needed. So she's getting a bit bored now. She's not really working now. <laughs> she's, no, she's she not. She has her coat on, but <laughs> uh, she's not really working now. So when she's not not uh, working and she's out and about, she's just like any regular dog. Oh, definitely. Does she get up to mischief and charge oh, around yes, like all the rest? Yes, yes. Uh, she chases the squirrels in the garden. She likes to dig holes, um, bury things. Uh, she loves to play with her toys. Mm. She's very much into toys, it, particularly teddy bears. We have to have a car teddy she takes out with her. She's no different to any other dog. She's, she's just a dog, but she's learnt to do more than a normal dog would. Mm -hmm. 